it's Ray's season. So what do I mean by that? Well, <clears throat> this is a time of year when a, when a lot of companies, at least where I live, they start to look at your compensation package. And this is where you might find out if you're going to get a raise or a bonus or this kind of thing. And uh, I wanted to share a little story with you that you might relate to. I remember working for a company and you know, my focus was always on the money. I want more money. I want more money. I want more money. I want to be paid more for what I do. And maybe you have experienced the same thing. But then I hit a threshold or, or a point where I was just like, I actually don't want any more money. I want to feel happy in my job. And the crazy thing is, every time I complained about it, I just got another raise. <laughs> they thought that a raise would make me happy. And it didn't. And it was kind of this funny thing. So uh, I did a bunch of research on raises and this kind of thing. So here's the thing. If you've ever, uh, if you're interested, check out Daniel Pink's book, Daniel Pink. It's a book called Drive. And he talks about motivation. And a lot of it is related to motivation for people in business and motivation for employees and in the workforce. And um, while money does have some motivating factors, um, the motivating factors are kind of limited. So basically you have to be paid enough that pay is no longer a question. But after that, money doesn't actually do a lot for us. And so I was thinking I'd like to do a video about this today. And I did a bit of research and I came across this Forbes article, which is interesting. So what I like about this is, is how extensive the research was. They looked at, um, let's see, they looked at, every relevant academic paper that they could find, and they examined compensation and job satisfaction. So they looked at 115 academic papers, which I think is, to me, that's very broad. In that uh, analysis, it covered over 18,000 working professionals. So basically what this means is that this is a good study because it's broad. And they also looked at uh, 14 different countries. Uh, in, a, in a range of occupations, including teachers, nurses, healthcare practitioners, lawyers, lawyers, professionals, technology workers, and so on. So it's a really kind of compre comprehensive view. So here's kind of the, the crazy thing about this, is that as they were looking at it, they could actually, in their research from all of these academic studies, they could not find a correlation between job satisfaction and pay. So why is it that so many of us focus on the pay? And in my experience, having worked with thousands of clients in my office, <clears throat> rather over a thousand clients in my office, not thousands, but over a thousand clients in my office, when the money conversation comes up, which I love, by the way, because I help, I love helping my clients get raises, but also understand, you know, the purpose of getting that raise for them. <clears throat> Basically, what it came down to is, uh, or what it comes down to is actually, you know, like, what is your purpose for going into work? Because, because the money is actually not creating that much more job satisfaction. And like, it's a really, really, really marginal amount. So you have to pay people enough that they're not questioning their pay. But the problem is, every time you find out that somebody is making more than you, and they do what you, then you want more money. If you find out that you're the highest or one of the highest paid, then your satisfaction is higher as it relates to your salary. So the problem is, is actually the more money we give people uh, in, in their jobs, the higher that amount goes. And then, you know, you might end up in a position where you're paying people ridiculous amounts of money for, you know, for silly little things. And not, not that anybody's job is silly, but, you know, we're paying people ridiculous amount of money trying to be a pay leader, you know, as a company. So... <clears throat> So this is good for you employees too to understand is that it's not necessarily about the money. So then what is it about? What creates job satisfaction? And there's a couple of different things, but today I want to talk about purpose. Beyond the money, you have to have a reason for going in. I worked in a job where I was making a really cool six figures uh, with my entire uh, benefits and compensation package. I did really well and I walked away from it to do what I do now. And I don't mind telling you that I don't make as much as I did then. I do well, though. Uh, but um, I focus more on the life that I wanted to have. So instead of chasing the dollars, you chase the lifestyle. I think Tony Robbins might have said that. I'm not sure who he got it from. Um, but but chase, chase, the, chase the lifestyle, not the money. Did I get that right? I don't know. Help me out, folks. We want to chase the lifestyle, not the money. So what's your purpose for going in beyond the money? And then... 
you know, if you're satisfied, you know, nearly every single day of your life, the money becomes kind of a secondary question. So I built my life and lifestyle to fit within a budget and actually be quite abundant, um, you know, in my life and lifestyle. I'm able to, you know, save thousands, of, you know, a couple thousand dollars a month because of the lifestyle that I choose to live. And I have a really awesome life. So, you know, not perfect, but, you know, good. So, so I think what I'm, you know, the point I'm trying to make is that, you know, if you're looking at this compensation that you're getting, and you're looking at this raise that you're getting, you might just sit back and say, what is this, you know, and you look at the number and you say, I'm, I'm really dissatisfied with this. And sit down and find out why you're dissatisfied. Are you dissatisfied because it's a comparison to something or somebody else? Or are you dissatisfied because you generally don't feel satisfaction in your job? And you think that money is going to make it feel better, which the research wouldn't support. So hopefully that's super helpful. If you would like to talk about your race, feel free to check me out, changemylifecoaching.ca. You can search under our practitioners. You can see all sorts of blogs and, and articles, or you can reach out to me directly uh, through our website, changemylifecoaching.ca. Thanks very much, folks. We're going to talk to you real soon.